This day I will tell you a short story about the king and the drum. I hope you can enjoy it and you can learn some of a moral in this story. Let's start the story. A long time ago, somewhere in central India, there was a king. He was very proud of his appearance. He stared at himself in the mirror for hours, admiring himself. There can't be another king as handsome as me, he told himself, pleased. He dressed in the finest clothes, and wore the finest jewelry the land had to offer. People grew tired of him, because he rarely addressed their or the kingdom's problems. He changed his hairstyle every day and covered his ears. Yes, he had his ears covered. The king had ears that resembled those of a donkey. Baiju, the king's barber, was the only one who knew about it. Baiju and Gori, his wife, lived in a rundown hut near the forest. He lived in constant fear, because the king had threatened him with death if he told anyone about his donkey's ears. He wasn't even allowed to cut or shave anyone else's hair in the kingdom. The barber was unable to sleep or eat properly. He was afraid to speak to anyone in the land, for fear of accidentally mentioning it. Despite being the king's barber, he led a sad and unhappy life. Ever since you were appointed as the king's barber, you don't speak to me or anyone, his wife said one day, gathering courage. I notice you hardly ever touch your food or sleep at night. You stare at the water in the pool near our house for hours. We were much happier when we lived with our friends in the old city, on the other side of the forest. The barber didn't respond. He simply exited their hut and sat by the pool. Many tamarind trees surrounded the pool. He sat on a large stone and stared at the shimmering reflection of the tree's leaves and branches. Gori followed him and sat down next to him. Please tell me what is bothering you, she begged. I swear I won't tell anyone. Finally, Baiju stated, You see, the king has ears like a donkey. And he has threatened to kill me if I tell anyone about it. I'm not sure when I'll say it in front of someone. So now I'm trying to avoid everyone. But I'm unhappy because I miss my friends and am losing them one by one. The tamarind trees heard, and absorbed everything he said. Baiju's wife promised not to discuss it with anyone. But she, too, became restless. So she went to the tamarind trees one day, and whispered the secret to them while holding them close. She felt better and happily returned. The festival season was approaching, and the kingdom's drummers were hard at work making drums. Some of them collected branches from the tamarind trees near the pool for the drum's wood. When the festival day arrived, the drummers began to beat their drums, but what did the drums beat? The king has the ears of a donkey. The king was enraged, and ordered the barber's execution. Baiju stated that he did nothing but tell his wife while sitting near the tamarind trees. The drummers were interrogated, and the king discovered the truth. The wise men of the kingdom then spoke up, saying, No one should be punished because truth cannot be changed, even if you punish the person who has revealed it. Instead, the king should be gentle and just. People would love him despite his ears if he was nice to them. The king realized the truth. He kept the drums and sticks in his chamber to remind him to be a good king at all times. Thank you for listening my story, I hope you like it. Please show your support by click like and subscribe to this channel. And when you want another story to read, please comment below. My name Kok Iko, see you on the next story.